This next story is for those who like to harvest the main course for their Lenten feast. Don Dubuque takes us on a crawfish excursion in tonight's Fish and Game Report. All right, Martha, let's see what we got in, in this net here. Woo, look at the crawfish hanging off of there. Yeah, we're catching crawfish old school. Not only is it a productive way to catch crawfish, it's a lot of fun too. Transforming Ms. Rowe's bed and breakfast into crawfish haven in Kaplan is the brainchild of Barry Toops. All right, we got our traps have been baited out. We got the boat ready with Barry. We're getting ready to go out and do our crawfish excursion. This is my first time crawfishing. I can't wait to get them. They bite. Be careful. We, we do the crawfishing in the boat where, where it, it generally lasts about an hour and uh, you get to participate in the crawfishing while we're doing it. You, you get to uh, start out the crawfish and stuff when I dump the crawfish in the trough. This is a female? That's a female. You see how the hair is yeah. longer? Long That's hair, she makes sense. She carries her eggs. Oh, look at the crawfish. Don't let him get out. We also do the fishing with the nets the old fashioned way. But that, you have to stay at the bed and breakfast to do it. And it's free. I didn't really know what to expect going into it. I didn't know what the traps were baited with. I didn't know what the biggest predator, actually that's not true. The biggest predator of a crawfish is a human. <laughs> we racked in and in about an hour we filled up two sacks of crawfish. When they get back, we ball the crawfish for them. There's a lot of places you can get good crawfish. A grocery store, seafood delis, restaurants. But if you want to get them and do it yourself the freshest way, come here to Crawfish Haven with your friends, your relatives and your kids and have a great time doing it. With the Fish and Game Report, Don Dubuque, Eyewitness News. See you later. I'm busy. <laughs>